Today I got a call from a student or an email rather and said there was a sudden seven point drop on his charts and could I explain it to him? Well it turned out this is the drop that you see from 1191 to 1183, 1184 on that one bar and that was basically caused by the fact he was using a time chart of a one minute chart. Now we explain this on our website and talk about the reason why we use uh, tick charts in the process. This is also the time of a report right at 10 a.m. so you always want to take a look at um, the Bloomberg uh, market action, things that are going to happen when things come out and this all happened in a minute and over a period of six minutes we had almost an 11 point drop. So let me show you why uh, we use tick Okay, here's a tick chart of the same time frame, and I put some vertical lines in here on my own just to show you a couple of things. First thing, if we look at the far left line, we see that at 9.59, one minute before the report was released, people had insider information. Now, that's illegal in stock trading, but not illegal in the futures market because you're betting on the direction of the uh, futures contract. You can also see, I don't have it in great detail here, but the mark was being pushed up at this point, and that's something we, the professionals call painting the tape, which basically tries to get you on the wrong side of the market, thinking that the um, price is going to go up. Now, if you think about this, the uh, Fed has no place to go. It can't lower interest rates. It can only keep them low, and so that would cause an uptick. Uh, and if they say nothing is going to change, there's nothing to stimulate the market to go anywhere. The Fed's got itself painted into a corner. But basically, they're talking about a long, slow recovery and all this. And at this point, when the housing uh, numbers came out negative, everything dropped like a rock. You can see that happen even before uh, the, report, the report was listed. Okay, people had insider information. Then we bounced a little bit, it deteriorated again down to 10.06. Now there's a couple things interesting on this chart in addition to that. Everything was held under the moving averages. Secondly, uh, 10.06 is a turning time in our system. Remember, plus 12, plus 24, and plus 36 minutes are when the guys play games with the market. Now this kind of bounced here and took off higher, but uh, what I wanted to point out to you is that uh, this one bar from before were all these bars on tick charts and a lot of people jumped in the market and made a lot of money. So please try to use the tick charts on a short timing and you can use time charts like 60 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever you want to do for a much longer trend but this will save your bacon and make you a lot of money.